Hi, I'm Olga and welcome to my tutorial how to add social links to your email signature. Obviously, this is very cool because it, in, it integrates your social media marketing uh, with your email marketing and provides to your email audience instant access to all your social networking. All right, so we're going to look into a few different ways on how to do it how you can do it and it will depend on which mail service do you use and which browser do you use and how much customization uh, are you looking for. So number one we're going to look into how to add social links to your email signature using web application called Wise Stamp and also we'll look into how to do it in a more custom way with um, Gmail, Macmail and Windows Outlook. This is just an example on what um, signature I've done with Wise Stamp and another example um, here um, what I've done with Macmail and Gmail and you can do um, similar things. Alright, so let's get started. And first of all, I'd like to give you a little quick overview um, of the difference um, between um, Wise Stamp and more custom signature. What's good about uh, Wise Stamp? It's really easy to set up and very easy to use and it also has a variety of different features that you can add to your um, email signature. What's not so good, it supports only certain mail accounts, Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail and AOL. Also, it's only available in uh, Safari, Chrome and Firefox browsers and it has a less customization than um, uh, the other uh, format that we're going to cover on how to do it a more custom way. All right, but if it works for you, it's great and it's really, really simple. So we'll start with this right now. How to create your email signature in Wise Stamp. We'll cover how to download Wise Stamp, how to create your signature and how to apply this signature to your email account. And that's on the left hand side. You can see an example of what I've created in a Wise Stamp. So let's start. Simply go to your browser. Uh, one of them uh, is a Chrome, Firefox or Safari and I'm going to show you uh, this tutorial on Chrome. That's my favorite browser by the way. So just type wise stamp and it will take you to the link. Click on it and you'll get to the page instantly download on Chrome. It's free. Click on download. Click continue right here. Install. And here it is. It will appear on your top in the top right corner of your browser where all the extensions are. Automatically the window where you can start creating your signature will be opened and you have two choices to create your personal signature or business signature. You can create one of each with a free account. So let's create the business signature. First I'll enter the text uh, here, uh, my name, my company name and my tagline. Expand uh, your business via social media. If you want to enter your phone whatever you want to be part of your signature. Then you can edit all of this and you can put different colors. You can make it bold, which I don't want to, but I want to increase the font a little bit, not increase the font. I can change the font. I like that one and I want to increase it a little bit. That sounds good, looks good for me. Now I also can change the color and that would be my color. Um, I can add picture. This is important. You may want to add the logo to your email signature, upload profile right here. Okay. They may ask you to sign in or sign in or create the account. You can do it right from here. You don't have to create the account. You can log in through your Facebook page, through your Facebook account. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. And now it will allow me to add upload picture and it will be my logo. Insert. Okay, that looks good. I like that. 
Now what we have to do is to add social icons. So this is the Facebook. You just add the link to your profile in the Facebook. FLM business, that's my business profile. Um, your Twitter and mine is front frontline social. All right, and you can add LinkedIn, Flickr, and add as many social links as you would like. The only one that I couldn't find is G+. And that's why I'm going to show you how you can add G plus in a different way using Ystamp. All right, so I will go to email applications right now. And this is interesting portion. You may want to look into this as well because you can instantly share your updates from Google Plus or your latest promotion on eBay and your latest blog um, post. So let's uh, look into bl Google Plus. Add application. Okay, you have to copy your your insert here your ID from Google Plus. Let's add it. All right, now it worked. Great. Okay, we'll apply. Um, and we can also preview right here how it's going to look. Okay, so you can see this is my logo, this is my name, company name, this is the actual working links to Facebook and Twitter, and this is my latest update from G Plus that will obviously change, depends on what's the latest update. People can access and add you to circles right from your email. They can look into your profile, into your post, and even the, there's a timestamp on where it was, um, where it was delivered. This particular update. All right, let's close. We're happy about it. If you want to do more changes, you can go and do, apply, and OK. So now we're going to go to Gmail, and you can use um, Yahoo, AOL, Hotmail. Okay, but I'm going to show you in Gmail because that's the account that I'm using. And um, refresh. Compose mail. All right, that's one my old signature. And I'd like to insert a business signature into my mail. Here it is. You can test it out, send an email to yourself, to your other account and test out, make sure the links are working and you're done. Congratulations!